Hello, this is Mr. Painter with another Fabulous IXL tutorial. Today, we're working on IXL R9 reflections over the X and Y axis graph the image. All right. So, notice we have a coordinate known as S, and S is located at negative 4 and positive 8. Now, what they want you to do is reflect over the Y axis. Now, notice the Y axis is the line right here that is in orange. So the way it's going to work is if it is one, two, three, four units to get to what I call the mirror or the line of reflection, well, it must be inside the mirror another four units. One, two, three, four, because a reflection should show the exact image, but just opposite of the line of reflection. So how do we know where S prime is at? So remember, the pre-image is called S. And the image is called S prime. Now we just give directions on how to get there from the center of the graph. So from the center of the graph, we go one, two, three, four. So S is at four. Get some more ink on there. There we go. Comma, then we count up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We count up eight. So our new location would be at four, eight. But in this particular IXL, all we're doing is we're graphing the image and just putting the point on IXL. But coming up later, you're going to need to know exactly where that's at. So I just wanted to point that out. All right. So we're going to go ahead and click where S prime is at and submit it. Get our first 14 points and go in from there. All right. We got H. Watch the line of reflection. It has rotated to the X axis. So now we're going to count down towards it. The goal is always go directly towards the line whether it be horizontal or vertical. All right, so with H, we're going to go one, two, three, four, hit the line of reflection, one, two, three, four, and our new point of H is not there, but there. So that's going to be H prime right there. All right, next up we got F. Notice the line of reflection is the x-axis, so once again. So we're going to, again, count directly towards the line of reflection. So we're going to count down 1, 2, 3, 4. Hit the line of reflection. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Lands right there. All right. Now, I'm on a smart score of 37. Three questions answered already. Notice now we're going to do it three times because we have an entire image in this case, a triangle over the line of reflection. Now, it's the same thing as before, but you just got to do it three times. And just be careful because if one vertex, remember a corner or a change of direction is called the vertex. If it's not correct, you're going to get it wrong. All right. Um, let's see. An easier way to do these is notice right here, it's triangle F, G, and H. <clears throat> you can do it in order. So you can start with F, then go to G, then go to H if you want to worry about like which one do you do first. But it actually doesn't matter which one you do first. But if you want guidance, you can use that from there. So we can start with F. All right, from F, we're going to go up to the line of reflection. Remember, always go directly towards the line of reflection because underneath, we need to go up. All right, here we go. Go towards the line of reflection. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10 hit the line of reflection now we're going to match that 10 more one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten that is going to be f prime all right let's do g g is our next one here so g looks like another 10 we got one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten hit the line of reflection ten more one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten lands right there so we got g prime and finally h we got one two three four five six hit the line so a lot shorter this time but only go six more you gotta match it one two three four, five, and six lands right there. And that's going to be H prime. And to simply graph these, we're just going to take our point tool. We can start at F, 
in that order, go to G. So notice there's a dotted line attached to it and it'll stay dotted until I click, which turns into a solid line. But notice one more point has two dotted lines. And when I click on H prime, there is an exact reflection of my triangle. And notice here that all the directions go the same way. They all went straight up. So they should always go the same way. All right, we got ourselves another triangle. Watch the line of reflection. The line of reflection is on the y-axis, which means we need to count towards the left this in this case. So our triangle is PQR. We're going to start with P. So here we go from the far left side. We're going to go, it looks like 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Hit the line of reflection. Go another 10. You got to match it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. We got P prime. All right, Q is right here. We got 1 and 2. That was rather fast. Two more, 1 and 2. So now we got Q prime. Last one is R. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Hit the line of reflection. Go another 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 lands right there. So that's R prime. Take our line tool in the same order. We're going to start with P. Click on P. And notice I got a dotted line, which means I have not clicked on my second point yet. I'm going to go to Q. Click on it. It turns into a solid line. And my last point, R, with two dotted lines, will match there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear the board. And I want you to notice that, notice it's the same object, but it's like flipped like a book. So it needs to be the same object flipped like a book. If the size has been changed or the image is not the same shape, then something's wrong. But notice I got the same triangle, but just flip on the line of reflection. All right, let's go ahead and get that one in. All right, five questions, 55 points. Now we got a rectangle. It almost looked like a square, but because one side is five units, and another side is four units. That does make for a rectangle. All right. We have rectangle. STUV. So STUV, I'm going to start with S. So starting with S, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Got to match it. Why am I going up? Because the line of reflection is on the x-axis with the blue line. So remember, we always go directly towards it. So now I'm going to match it another 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 is S prime here. All right, so S is done. What about T? Down here, we got 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Hit the light reflection. 10 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Lands right there. So that's T prime. <clears throat> okay, so now I got U. 1, I'll go the other way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Again, going straight up. Only stopped at 5, so just go another 5 more. It has to be the same number going up. 1, 2, 3. Four and five lads right there. So that's going to be U prime. V, one, two, three, four, five. Hit the line of reflection. One, two, three, four, and five. That is going to be V prime. In that same order, I'm going to go ahead and connect all my points. So S to T to U to V and checking for an exact match looks perfect. So notice it's the same shape across the line of reflection. All right, we have ourselves a square. A square means all four sides are the same side size. Um, I'm looking right now at the graph. I don't see my line of reflection. They're both gray. So when that happens, you got to look in the direction to see where it's at. So in the directions here is graph the image of square QRST after a reflection over the Y-axis. So we're looking at the Y-axis. What I could do 
is I can create my own line here. I'm going to use blue. There we go. And now I'm back to where it was. So you just have to know that the Y axis, and it tells you right there, see the Y, is that right there. If it asks for X, you're, you're over here. So that's the only thing that's a little bit different. It makes it slightly harder, but it's really not that hard. All right, starting with Q, count towards the left because we need to go directly towards the line of reflection. The same number of boxes, once you hit the line, match the same number of boxes on the other side. Here we go, Q, one, two, three four, five, six, seven, hit the line, seven more, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven lands right here. And remember, we're going to put a little apostrophe representing Q prime, which is now the image from the pre-image. All right, R, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine now. Go nine more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Right here is our prime. Now you're probably thinking, well, is there a faster way to do this? Because this takes a lot of time. Notice that S is directly above R by two boxes. See that? One, two. Because it's a reflection, I can also do that over here from R, one, two, and there's S prime. And notice that T is directly two boxes above Q. So I can do that right here, one, two, and there's T prime. So if you want to use patterns and notice how the shape is orientated, you can use that to save yourself a little time. Then take your mouse or your trackpad, click on Q, R, S, T, and you should have a match. And there we go. All right. Okay, uh, seven questions answered, 66. Uh, we're going over, it's a good question, what are we doing? Graph the image of triangle CDE after a reflection over the x-axis. So the x-axis here is right there. All right, remember we're going directly towards the x-axis starting with C. C is one, two, three, four, five, six. There's my x axis. Go six more. One, two, three, four, five, and six is C prime right here. Now, if you notice E, E is directly three units between the line of reflection and C. So, which means E has to be right here. Now, if you want to count it, you can. But remember, anything that you can see for as far as patterns and orientation, use it. So that saved me a little bit of time there. And D is kind of out there all by itself, so it's just best to count. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six at the line of reflection. Six more. One, two, three, four, five, and six is D prime. And connect your points in that order. Start with C. Go to D, then E. And notice you should have the same shape, but just opposite because it's flipped over. All right, we got CDE. Graph the image of triangle. By the way, that means triangle. CDE after a reflection over the y-axis. So y-axis is right here. Going up and down this time which means we need to go to the right. All right, start with C. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hit the line of reflection. How about another eight more? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is C prime. Now notice the pattern to E. E is down one from C and two to the right because it's gonna be opposite we can go down one and to the left two and there's e prime and from d to get from c so c to d we go up two one two from c and there we go we're ready to go so again it's up to you how you want to count it you have to count the first one for sure because you need to get you got to start somewhere so what are we doing? We're doing C first, then the next one is D, 
then E, and check and see if it looks exactly the same, but opposite, and it does. And it's over the y-axis. So this looks really good. Turn that in. All right, looks like another two. We got something called a rhombus. A rhombus is like a flattened down either square or rectangle. Usually it's considered more of a rectangle. All right, here we go. Graph the image of rhombus E, F, G, H after a reflection over the x-axis. Okay, so we got the x-axis. Okay, right there. So we're going to be counting down in this case. Let's go ahead and keep with the purple theme here. Go ahead and start with E. E is down one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. It took six. We're going to go six more. One, two, three, four, five, and six is going to be E prime. Let's see if we can figure out F. F is one, two, three, four, five from E to the right. So let's go ahead and do that as well. One, two, three, four, five, F prime. Now, H is a little bit more tricky. I'm going to um, count this one out. Actually, I'm going to go to G because notice that G is next, H is last. So G, I'm just going to count it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're at the line of reflection. Nine more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, we got G right there. And H, we can get from G. It's one, two, three, four, five to the left from G. So from G, we're going to be clear. It's right there. From G prime, we're going to go five to the left. One, two, three, four, and five. And that should be H prime there. And it's a matter of, does it look good? So we got E. F, G, H. Clear the screen. Does it match but flipped? It looks good. And here we go. Okay, last one. We're at 79. So close. But not quite there yet. All right, we're going over the y-axis. And how do you know? Graph the image of rectangle A, B, C, D after a reflection over the y-axis. Okay, so y-axis is this line going straight up and down. And they're in order, so A, B, C, and D. So starting with A is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So a full 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 is gonna be A prime. B, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So now we got B prime. So remember our vocabulary, this is called the pre-image. The green rectangles are pre-image and the one we're creating is called the image. C, four, one, two, three, four, another four, one, two, three, and four, C prime. And notice that if we go directly above A, to the same height as C prime, that's going to be our D. So we can do that. All right. Connect them all up in order A to B, C to D. Clear the screen. How's it look? It looks amazing. Going for 80. Looks like 82, maybe. Oh, 83. Woo! All right. We knocked this one out just under 20 minutes. So. All right, this concludes this fabulous IXL tutorial. Have a fantastic day.